Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Philly Dark One, for more hip-hop news TV. And I know we all heard about the untimely demise of the boy rich homie Quan, but in this episode, we got some video footage of the body cam from the officer who responded. You know, a lot of things stood out to me about the whole story about him, which I got questions about. We gonna get into it. This the dad talking and it's really sad, you know, when you watch this footage, it's really, it can really get to you because you're talking about a father who lost his son and it's sad to see this whole situation play out on here. But, um, it's your boy Philly Dark One for more hip hop news TV and y'all watch this footage and y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments and I'm gonna get right back with y'all right after this. Sergeant Michael Young, Atlanta Police Department. You stay to look at where, uh, the area where he's located. Are you, what's, what's your name? His dad. Who is that? Yeah. What's, your, what's your first name? Corey. What's your last name? Lamar. What's a, what's a good number for you, Mr. Lamar? So who else lives here other than um, his brother? He's in the house. Okay. Um, his engineer was here. Okay. And um, his um, girl, his kid's mom. His kid's mom. Now, is, can you show me where he was found at? Yeah. Okay. Well, what happened? He, well, from what Dre tell me, he um, Andre is his brother. Uh huh. Dre said, we got a couple more people coming. Just give your okay. heads up, okay? Dre said, I'm gonna tell you what Dre told me. Okay, you said Dre? Dre yeah, that's his brother. Dre said they had smoked the blunt. Mm -hmm. They came upstairs. Dre went upstairs to his room. Warren stayed in the kitchen. At some point or another, Dre came back downstairs and he saw corn on the floor in the kitchen. And he picked corn up. And when he picked them up, and when he um, picked them up, he said corn was breathing hard. Okay. He laid him on the sofa. He was snoring. I'm sorry, they were snoring. Mm -hmm. So he laid him on the sofa. He went back upstairs. And when he came, so he checked him and stuff. You know, like he was, um, said, said that he was, um, you know, breathing. And said that um, he laid him on the sofa. And Dre went to, Dre went to take the spring to the shop for me. And I missed three calls from him. I missed three calls from Amber, who was his girl, who was his baby mama. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and she texted me, she was like, please call me. Um, she was like, please call me. Um, I finna call the ambulance. So when she said that, I was in Decatur. I immediately came here. And when I got here, they had him on a stretcher. And they um, had that thing on his chest, you know, with his arms mm -hmm. up. But, uh, so, so entertain him, man. He do drugs. He won't. Is it now? Uh, yeah, is the blunt still in there that he smoked? They probably no. Nah, they probably smoked the blunt, bro. He smoked the blunt. Me. But 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 um, another one of his kids, mom. I have I talked to her since today, and she was on the phone with him up until like one or two o'clock in the morning. She said two or one o'clock. And she said that um, she said he ordered some food. She said he told her he took a Xanax pill. Mm -hmm. And while they were on the phone talking, he was drinking lean. And she was like, why is you drinking that lean? And you say you just took a pill. You mm -hmm. follow what I'm saying? So I'm not going to deny, man. Like, he, and when I say every drug, man, you know, as a parent, they only going to let you see so much. Okay. But it's like, I know, like, when I talk to him, I know when he high, and I know when he not. Me and him spoke on the phone several times yesterday. He wasn't high. Mm -hmm. You follow me? But I think our last conversation, it was daytime. Um, may have been, like, 3 o'clock or something. Mm -hmm. He wasn't high, but she did. And I told him, I said, tell me the truth. Don't lie to me. She did tell me he was high. Man. It was high. She said, right, show me, show me, show me where's that. Cross you up. Okay. Do, do that. And uh, put, put those two things in there. All everything. You heard what you, you know. Trip, trip. Look, Dre, that's his brother. Tank top on. Okay. Like I said, 
It's a really sad situation the way the father found out the whole rich homie Quan story. So what it seems like is that the brother got high. The brother was smoking weed, smoked the blunt with his brother. And he also took some uh, Xanaxes and he also took some syrup. So this brother was high as a kite. And basically, your heart can't take that much. Like you on some all all this. Everything that he took was a downer. Every t everything that he took was a downer and his heart probably it slowed his heartbeat down. It slowed his heartbeat down till he went into a cardiac arrest. But the sad part about this here is that look the way his father found out about the whole situation. He got a call from one of rich homie Quan baby mothers and they really didn't even want to tell him that he was getting high that night, you know, and. It's really sad that such a talented artist went out like this by drugs, drug addiction. You know, we could say what we want, smoking weed and all that popping pills. You know, these dudes are not addicted to a, and drinking syrup, but they really are. This It's really out of control in the black community. So I just want to say this to say all those that's out there that's dealing with those type of issues, that's taking those kind of drugs. You got to be very, very careful when you dealing with drugs of this nature, because you can you can push past your threshold because you're doing it so much and you don't know your limit. And that's what it seemed like to me with Rich Homie Quan. He didn't know his limit and. He succumbed to these downers, lowering his heartbeat, and eventually his heart just gave out. But, um, you know, and another thing that I felt I felt about this whole story about, you know, his brother, you know, if I found my brother down on the floor, after I went upstairs after we I went upstairs after we got finished smoking the L and I found my brother down. I'm going to I'm going to find out what's going on with him. He got food in his mouth and just all of a sudden he's down at I come back downstairs. Like that was odd. That was weird, you know, and nobody nobody felt concerned about this, about what was taking place. And that's what bothers me about this whole situation. Nobody seemed to be too concerned about home, rich homie Quan condition with him, you know, well, especially his brother, Dre. Like if you seen your brother down on the floor, you start checking him and see what's going on, shaking him, waking him up. If you got to pick him up to take him and lay him on the couch, like, isn't that reason for concern that something's going on with your brother? If you just was smoking an L and you come back downstairs and he's unconscious like this and he's not moving to the point where you got to pick him up and put him on the couch and he's still not moving. That's suspect to me, but. You know, I'm not trying to imply anything with that, but it's just odd because I'm going to find out what's going on. I'm going to shake him like, yo, bro, get up, get up, get up, wake up, bro. Come on, get get up off the floor. What's, what's, what's wrong with you? What's going on? And that would have told him that something was going on with his brother, that something was happening here in this moment that wasn't right, you know, and it's just, it's, I mean, we can all talk about what we would have done in the situation, but you know, and, you know, one of my main sticking points is that maybe they should have told the respondent EMTs that he was high off of this stuff because then they could have responded accordingly. You know what I'm saying? Where they didn't tell him that he was high off of this stuff. You know, his brother didn't tell him. His brother kept that away from the respondent EMTs and they need to know all this information. What you high off of is anything. Did you take anything that? that could make you act like this. Like this is not just happening out of nowhere. Whereas though they feel like it's just, you know, cardiac arrest and you know, they could try to do what they can do. But if, if they would have known that you was, you, you, you took something that could affect you that made you act in this fashion. Whereas though he took three things, he took smoke the L no telling what was in the L he, he drunk syrup and he took Xanaxes. Like, come on, what are we doing here? You dig what I'm saying? Like somebody should have said something. I'm just saying a lot could have been done to save this brother life. And I feel like, you know, people panicked and people dropped the ball out of fear instead of responding in that moment to save this brother life. 
Yes, you know, you probably were scared, but we can handle that after we revive Rich Homie Quan. And I don't think they did that. I know they didn't do that. I mean, look at the results. They dropped the ball. And I'm quite sure in hindsight now, they wish they would have said more. They wish they would have done more in that time. I don't know. You tell me. But it's your boy, Philly Dark One, for more hip-hop news TV. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You know, I'm be dropping more footage of other stuff, other things. Let me know what y'all think, and we can talk about it, all right? Like I said, it's your boy, Philly Dark One, and I'm out. Peace.